The RG31 Nyala represents a notable addition to the MRAP, mine-resistant, ambush-protected, class of armored vehicles, manufactured by Bay Systems Land Systems OMC of South Africa. The challenges encountered by American and coalition forces during urban warfare in Afghanistan and Iraq underscored the critical need for well-armored vehicles in densely populated city areas. Traditional Humvees proved vulnerable to improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and concealed land mines, prompting the implementation of official up-armoring kits as well as on-the-field modifications by personnel. Consequently, the demand for MRAP vehicles surged, leading to a plethora of offerings from various global manufacturers. Drawing from its extensive experience in past conflicts, South Africa's Bay Systems Land Systems OMC stands out as a leader in this competitive market segment. The Nyala, a 4x4-wheeled vehicle weighing over 7 tons, is designed to safeguard its crew and drive system with features such as a V-shaped hull, armored walls and floor, and bullet-resistant glass. Its substantial ground clearance enables exceptional off-road capability. Engine options include Daimler Benz, Iveco, Detroit Diesel, and Cummins Diesel units, tailored to meet customer specifications. Equipped with a full 4x4 suspension system, it can achieve road speeds of up to 62 miles per hour and has a range of 560 miles. With dimensions measuring 21 feet in length, 8 feet in width, and 8.6 feet in height, the Nyala boasts a high profile, mitigated by excellent visibility over the hood and around the vehicle, enhancing situational awareness. The driver occupies the conventional front-left position, situated behind the engine compartment, with seating available for one additional crew member to the right. Passengers are accommodated in the enclosed rear section of the vehicle, with circular firing ports located along the side windows. The vehicle can transport up to six combat-ready personnel, in addition to the operating crew, with certain versions capable of seating up to eight passengers. In addition to the pair of hinged, automobile-style side doors for the driver and front passenger, a rear door facilitates entry and exit for passengers in the rear cabin area. The RG31 series offers a wide range of battlefield configurations tailored to meet diverse customer requirements. The RG31 MK3A serves as a basic armored personnel carrier, APC, while the RG31 MK5A extends the hull of the standard MK5 model. The RG31 MK6E features an enhanced survivability package, while the RG31 M incorporates additional standard features such as a central tire inflation system. Variants like the RG31 Charger and the RG31 Sabre cater to specific needs within the United States Army, with the Charger based on the MK3 and MK5 production models equipped with Detroit diesel and Cummins engines respectively, and the Sabre designed with a focus on cargo transport. The RG31 series boasts inherent design flexibility, allowing for variable weapons fits. Some utilize manned armored turrets with 0.50 caliber heavy machine guns, HMGs, while others adopt remote weapon systems, RWS, or simpler open-air 0.50 caliber HMG configurations. Operators of the RG31 series span several countries including Canada, Army, Police, Colombia, Army, with limited stock, Indonesia, Iraq, Mali, Nigeria, with a single example, Rwanda, South Africa, Spain, Army, Swaziland, Army, the United Arab Emirates, MK5 version, and the United States, Army, Marine Corps, and special forces utilizing MK3 and MK5 models. In addition to its direct military roles, the RG31 has found utility among governmental security forces and has been employed in general peacekeeping operations, with the United Nations operating a stock of 30 vehicles.